Hi everyone, I'm Oscar Ling from Team Malaysia. Today we are here to present to you our solution in solving humanitarian aid logistic problem. So this is Mary. She is a victim in a Malaysia flood back in 2019. She told us that she feels so helpless when disaster happened as there is no available channel for her to request help. Not only that, lack of information distribution of relief items and the situation also make her feel worried and desperate. Instead of actively looking for help, what she can do is just wait for the humanitarian aid team. This is Gaynan, a humanitarian aid provider who works under AHA Center. She shared with us her pain point when she is working in the mission. She told us that the process of needs assessment is lengthy as they are request to go to the disaster area and asking each of the victim or community leader about how much quantity and what type of need request by them. The process from getting information compiled and sent to the central system to average three hours per day. She also told us that when came into distribution relief item in the disaster area, some victims might cook more than what they need and this caused under supply of certain resources. And moving on to the decision maker perspective, the current system in humanitarian aid operation have place to improve. Some of the pain points are the current system are lack of real information for disaster monitoring. Not only that, because there's no centralized data and information flow mechanism. This causes a huge problem in coordination between multiple stakeholders, ranging from the volunteer, humanitarian aid provider, logistic partner, and etc. And lastly, the system are not fully adopt the advanced technology such as AI in forecast the situation need and risk assessment. So ladies and gentlemen, we, Team Malaysia, plan to tackle this problem in an effective and efficient manner. Introduce to you our solution, the Smart ASEAN Digital Disaster Relief System, ADRA. ADRA provides an all-in-one solution for 2N, which is the victim and human aid provider side. It has six main features, and we would like to share with you on how ADRA works in our demo video. Welcome to Smart ADRA Demo. Firstly, the users are able to select on their roles whether they are the victims or the aid providers. In the case they are the victims of the disaster, they'll click into the I need help button. This will present them with three main features. Firstly, the SOS feature. The victims are able to request for help and view what are the nearest help provided such as shelters and food banks. To request for help, the victims will just need to click onto the ask for help button and fill in necessary information such as name, location, phone number, and even describe their needs and urgency level. Once they have filled out all their needs, they are able to submit their request and the status of their request will be presented. Moving on to the next feature, the QR code and voucher verification. To ensure there's no oversupply or undersupply of goods to a disaster area, the users will need to scan the QR code on the goods as they receive it. They will just need to turn on their camera, scan QR code, and get verified. After getting verified, the users will be provided with claimable vouchers which can be used in the near future. With this feature, we are confident that we can better control the volume of relief items and allow the aid providers to better control other affected areas. Besides that, the Smart ADIA app wants to provide assurance to the victims by having the news and AI SMS bot feature. After clicking into it, the victims are able to know about the current situation and news in the area and get alert on the latest notification. In the case where the users do not have any access to internet or Wi-Fi, they're able to use the AI SMS bot feature. This bot will be programmed to answer user basic queries and help them with their needs. Next, Smart ADIA is also usable for the humanitarian aid providers. The current process for aid providers to make need assessment is tedious, manual, and it takes a long time before being consolidated. With ADIA, we digitalize the needs assessment process and reduce this process from 30 minutes to 3 minutes by allowing the data to be directly sent to our ADIA dashboard. Let's take a look at our dashboard. Right now, I would like to present ADRA's dashboard that aggregates all the data from the mobile app. The key users for this dashboard will be the decision makers, such as humanitarian agencies. In the home page, 
The agency will be welcomed with easy to understand metrics to obtain a quick overview of a disaster. This is time saving as it provides real time numbers that quantify the urgency of the disaster. Under resources, there will be a list of resource requests that are presented in an organized table with filters and search functionality. There is also a view more button to provide greater details. We also provide an interactive way to demographically view the disaster and obtain some quick statistics. For example, this graph presents the amount of victims' needs according to the various priorities against time. It is evident that high priority resources are steadily rising as we speak right now. In our forecast tab, we also integrated machine learning as a predictive modeling tool. Decision makers can then utilize this tool to better predict and allocate sufficient resources. To better manage the mission, the logistics tabs right here also provides route planning and more clustering information of the resources. We also have digitalized records of all logistical matters and their estimated arrival time, providing assurance for our victims in need. So this is the technological spec that we'll be using to develop our front end and back end for ADRA. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the benefit and impact that what ADRA can bring. Efficient and cost-effective humanitarian air solution, maximize speed of release X delivery with path planning, time-saving need assessment solution by faster the process to 30 minutes, which is six times faster, and centralized AI power system for better divisions making. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day.